guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited that you are here a little bit about myself my name is amaka i'm a nigerian currently located in australia and i am going to be bringing mouth watering recipes to you so make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends and don't forget to follow my Instagram page at Amelicious Foodie. Today we are going to be making Nigerian fried rice. Yes, I said so. Nigerian fried rice. Okay, enough of the talking and now let's get cooking. Fried rice is one of the common Nigerian meals and I'm going to be showing you one of the methods that I make mine. So first off, for this recipe, I'm going to be using chicken drumstick, some goat meat, and for authentic Nigerian fried rice, you need your liver. Yes, you need liver for it. And now, I'm going to be adding all my protein to a big pot because I don't want to have to cook them separately. I just have to be mindful that they all boil at different times and yeah so once i add those things i start to go in with all my seasoning we love really rich spicy food so i'm gonna be starting off with adding my onions chopped onions and then i'm going to be adding thyme as you can see in this video and i got some um, bay leaves which i'm gonna be putting in there as well as my seasoning cube for this particular video i'm using the more cube you can use any particular one that you want it doesn't matter and i love herbs so i'm also going going to be going with my rosemary and some salt um some other things i'll be adding as well is my curry curry is really super super important in making nigerian fried rice and also i'll be going in with my ginger and my garlic feel free to use the fresh ginger and fresh garlic i just use what i had in my pantry to be honest i didn't want to go shopping <laughs> forgive me for that okay so anyways once you add those ingredients i just popped in one one chili one pepper one habanero pepper in there and just give the meat a little bit of a mix you need only a tiny bit of water because by the time you start cooking this meat is going to be producing its own juice and you want this ingredient to seep in so i let it cook at this point the drumstick is ready but my goat meat is not ready so i'm going to get all my drumstick out i'm going to be grilling it um because that's a much more healthy option for me you could also fry your um, meat if you want so once the goat meat is ready it will look like this it's going to be really tender you can actually use your hands to cut the meat like you can see in this video and i am going to strain the stock to get the excess um you know shaft out of it because i really want a nice thin broth for my fried rice so it will look like that that's exactly what i want i prefer to use the basmatic rice for my fried rice because it comes out better the texture is amazing so once my rice is parboiled i start going with ingredients i add my curry to the already parboiled rice you must add your turmeric because this is what's going to color your rice okay once i add my turmeric we love the seasoning and the herbs so i'm going to go in with my thyme again and i'm going to go in with a little bit of salt some bay leaf and some um, chili so you have to be mindful of the salt you are adding because the meat stock already has a little bit of seasoning and salt in it so once that's done i'll add some water just enough to cook the rice not too much so that your rice doesn't get in soggy so i figured that my turmeric wasn't enough so i ended up adding a little bit more after i gave the give it a stir um, and this was what i came up with that was how my rice looked like after it was ready so yeah looks pretty good doesn't it <laughs> okay so next up i want to start frying my vegetables so i'm going with the going in with the olive oil and my liver that was cooked i chopped it up into cubes and now i'm going to fry it 
until it looks brownish and crunchy once that is done I can then get it out into my plate and then I can start frying my vegetables as well so for this recipe I'll be using onions some carrots some green beans bell peppers and spring onions I'll start off with my onions and give it a fry so that all the um, aroma and the fragrance can be released into the oil and once I can feel that that has been achieved I will then go in with my other vegetables so I'm just gonna add like my carrots my uh, you know everything I want to add to this recipe to be honest you can use any other vegetable that you want to use but this I want, I want to keep it simple okay and I'm not adding my spring onion I like to add it last because I love the freshness that spring onions brings to my meal and a little bit of salt for the vegetable won't hurt <laughs> and so don't forget to add your ginger and your garlic as well because you want the vegetables to also taste really good you know so once that's all nice and fried then I'm going to start whipping in I'm going to add my um, liver back into the pot and just to combine all the ingredients together and what I will then do is I usually split this um, vegetable um, combination into half and then I start going with my rice and on low heat I start to stir fry and combine at this stage you are mainly just combining because the vegetables and the rice is all cooked you just combine it so I will just keep combining until I get the amount like you know what I want and so this is how it looks like this is actually like the basic fried rice and there's other ways of cooking fried rice and I will be showing you as time goes on finally I'm just going to finish it up with some spring onions and don't skip this last part I also go in with some butter um, because it will give me some buttery texture and some buttery taste of course <laughs> and then I'll close it up and then finally give it the last bit of stir you know to get all that butter and spring onions well incorporated with the rice and the rice is ready see it's super easy <laughs> all right enjoy okay and please follow my channel like my video share with your friends so much appreciate you being here bye bye